Hey, third graders. Today we're going to be doing 5-4 um, parts of both sides. So pay close attention to the directions. Once again, we're going to be finding the area of the figure. And we have those couple different ways that we talked about to do that. Okay, I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. So when they say decompose, that means break down into the rectangles. Okay, so we're going to do that on the first one. Okay, I'm looking at it. It looks like the letter H, doesn't it? So I'm seeing some rectangles where I can divide that. Okay, and now I have three rectangles. Okay, yesterday we talked about the fact that we could count the squares in all three sections and add them up. That is one of your options. Okay, the other option is to figure out the area for each section that we just broke them into. Okay, so if I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I have eight on this side and I have two on this side. That's my first rectangle. So my first rectangle is going to be eight times two. Then I look at my second rectangle. Okay, remember I'm doing my corners. So I'm going to start on the bottom. I have two here, and I have four on this side, okay? So I have two times four, okay? So, so far I've got eight times two and two times four. I look at my last rectangle. It's exactly the same as the first one, isn't it? I have two here and eight here. So my third equation would be two times eight. So I would need to figure out all of those equations and add them up. So I have 8 times 2, 16. 2 times 4 is 8. And 2 times 8 is 16 again. I'm going to put my on top to make it easier to add. Then I would add those up and I would get my answer that would go on the line. So I'm going to do 8 plus 6 is 14, plus 6 is 20, I'm going to carry my 2, and then 2 plus 1 plus 1 is 4, so my answer is 40 square, I can abbreviate that, and then units. Okay, so I'm done with that one. Now that would be the method where we're decomposing or breaking down into the rectangles, okay? We talked the other day about other ways too. We can just count all the squares, okay? But you have to be really careful when you do that, okay? So let's look at our next one here, okay? We have breaking it down again. There's a rectangle, right? Okay, I, can, I see I can do... I have a couple of options here. Um, I can make another rectangle here, okay? And then I can make another rectangle here, and then that leaves me with that big one in the middle, okay? So I have one, two, three, four different rectangles. So I have choices. I'm gonna show you choice number two, because maybe it might be a little easier for you than writing all the equations, okay? I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to count the squares in each section. I'm going to count by twos on this first section because I've got two here, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. And then I would write a 22 on this one so that I remember that. Then I would go to my next rectangle and I would count those. I'm going to count this top one next. I've got two, four, six. So I'm going to put a six on that one instead of numbering each individual square, which can get kind of tedious. Then I'm going to go down to my bottom one here, and I also have two, four, six. Okay, now I've got my big one left. So I have a couple options here. I can count a row, and I can say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven across the top, right? And then I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So I can do seven times six for that one. If I get out my times table, I can see that that's 42. 
and that's going to help me a little bit when I'm trying to add up all my rectangles, okay? Put a 42 in the middle here. Now my job is not done yet. Now I need to take all of my numbers and add them up. So I've got 42. I'm going to do some column addition here. Okay, so that's that one. I've got 22 here. I'm crossing them off as I write them down so I remember. Okay, and then I've got a 6 and a 6. Well, I know that 6 plus 6 is 12. So I'm going to put those two together. And I'm going to go ahead and add to get my final answer that's going to go on this line. So add those up. Okay. And then your label, once again, will be square units. So we, we did break them down or decompose them into the rectangles. Okay, but we didn't do the equations. Okay, we did it a little bit quicker way on that one. Okay, so add that up. Figure out what your square units are. Okay. All right, so I am going to leave you with these bottom two here. Okay, and I'm going to help you break them down, okay? I can see on number three, I'm gonna go ahead and do this because that leaves me with a nice rectangle and a square. And those look pretty easy to count. I could even count by threes, couldn't I? Because there's three in a row. So if you're good at counting by threes, go three, six, nine, and start counting down. When I get over to this one, a really cool way to divide this one is this and this. Okay, and that leaves me with areas where I can write down. Remember, you're going to look at the square and you're going to write down 3, 6, 9. You're going to put the number in each section and then add up your numbers when you're done. It's kind of hard to see, but then this is where you're going to write the, the line doesn't show up that well on mine. This is where you're going to add them up and write your answer. Always using that square unit. You guys are good at counting. You can do it. All right. And then at the very bottom, you do not have to do number five. Okay. So when you get this page done, I want you to meet me on the back side, please. All right. Here we are on the back side. I want you to put a smiley face right here and say hi to Mrs. Hagen if you're watching this video. And then I'm going to see that when you check the, when I check the homework. All right, so we are on the remembering side. So we have a line plot. Remember, a line plot is when we have dots to show our information or our data. So we're looking at a line plot that is the height of the plants in inches. These are all plants. Every single dot is a plant. And then you've got the numbers along the bottom that are in inches, okay? So here we go. Let's look at, we're going to just talk about them. I think you can do these four pretty much on your own. Okay. I'm just going to talk about each one. So number one, which height appears the most often? Which height of inches has the most plants? Okay. So you're going to write down that height and then your label will be inches. Remember, we can say I N for inches. So figure out which plant has, are there the most of. All right, number two, how many plants are there? Remember what Mrs. Hagen said, every dot is a plant. Okay, think about that. Look up at your dots. And of course, our label for that one, once we get our number, we're going to write it here. And then our label is just plants. Every dot is a plant. The third one says, how many plants are 14 inches? I'm going to look up at my chart and I'm going to look for the magic number of 14 and see how many plants there are. Once again, my label is going to be plants. And number four is, how many plants are 14 inches or taller? We've talked about this before, that when they say 14 inches or taller, that means we count 14, and we count everything else that's, every plant that's in that section. So how many plants are 14 or taller? OK, 
okay? Figure that out. All right, um, I'm going to cross out the bottom section for now, okay? So you guys have a little bit to do on your own and you will be good to go. Have an amazing day.